Hello and welcome to the You Love to See YouTube channel. My name is Jake. This is going to be the next episode in my 2024 projection series. This is a series where I'm going through just about every player that's going to be on the 26-man roster. I'm talking about how they did in 2023 and what they're projected to do in 2024 per Zips. And if you don't know what Zips is, it's a software made by Dan Zimborski. You can go follow him on Twitter that predicts players' future successes based off of underlying metrics. What those metrics are... I don't know, I'm not that smart. But today's episode, we are gonna be talking about the third in our rotation, Logan Gilbert. 26 year old Logan Gilbert. Logan Gilbert out of the gate strong. Dots him up on the edge. Swing and a miss, a new standard for Logan Gilbert. He struck him out. Logan, I would say had a pretty good year in 2023. Logan's 2023 ended up with a stat line of a 13 and seven record, 190.2 innings pitched, a 3.73 ERA, 3.2 F war, 1.08 whip and 189 strikeouts. You may disagree with this statement and that's fine, but I personally think in 2023, I felt more comfortable with Logan Gilbert on the mound than Kirby or Castillo. And the reason why I say that is from Castillo and Kirby, I felt a very much of a Jekyll and Hyde type of thing going on with them where they would have some good starts, but they would be coupled with pretty bad starts. And it felt to me that Logan was our most consistent at the end of the day throughout 2023 which is a pretty decent season if I do say so myself. He didn't have quite the ERA to stand up to like a Kirby or Castillo. His whip is right around Castillo and Kirby, so it's pretty respectable. He ended up having a bit more strikeouts than Kirby as well, which makes sense because Kirby, they were just being really aggressive. They knew he was going to throw strikes, whereas Logan has a bit more stuff than Kirby does, just with less command and control. So it's kind of natural that that person is going to have a bit more strikeouts. But overall, I think Logan had a pretty decent season he improved at the end of the day which is what you want to see from a young and developing pitcher like George Kirby is we got a good handful of our Walter starts I was thankful to see one on August 26th against the Royals and I really hope that Logan sticks with it the long term I think he's going to be a very valuable piece of a rotation for hopefully a long time to come but let's get into what he's projected to do per Zips in 2024. They have him at an 11 and 8 record, 191 innings pitched, a 3.51 ERA, 3.3 F war, 1.18 whip, and 176 strikeouts. So if you compare this to his 2023 stats, Zips projects him to have a bit of a better season than he did in 2023. And I agree with that because Logan has been making those small improvements to his game that I think is going to make him a valuable starter now and for the foreseeable future. I also don't think it's crazy to say that on other teams, Logan could be an ace or a number two. Some notable parts of his projections is they're expecting his ERA to go from 3.73 to 3.51, which would put him in pretty decent contention for having one of the best ERAs on this team. His whip isn't as good, but like whatever, and his strikeouts are a little bit lower as well. The big thing to look for is the splitter. He didn't have it in 2022, but in 2023, he added it to his arsenal and it was pretty a pretty tremendous pitch for him. The pitch boasted only a 175 batting average against and a whiff rate of 34.7% and a 46.3 strikeout percentage. So I'm excited to see what that pitch alone is going to bring for us this year. Um, I'm hoping that he has a bit more control and command on that kind of like high fastball that he throws because I do think that is a pretty important part of his arsenal. It seemed to be uh, missing quite a lot last year. So hopefully if he can find the top end of the strike zone with that on a pretty consistent basis, he is going to be a dangerous pitcher to go up against. And I think this projection is accurate at the end of the day. Uh, I, and I don't want to be crazy with this, but I could even see him having a better season than like a George Kirby or Luis Castillo this year. And that's in the sense of his consistency. 
because we didn't really have that with Castillo and Kirby last year, whereas Gilbert, I feel, is a little more consistent pitcher, and I think that's going to pay off for him this year. At the end of the day, I don't, not say he will for sure be better than them, but I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe we'll even have him in some Cy Young talks. That would be amazing. If we could have our top three all in like Cy Young contention, or at least in the conversation, we're going to be lethal. But that's going to be it for this video on Logan Gilbert. You can comment down below how you think Logan's going to do. I would love to know your opinions on Gilbert for 2024. But that's going to do it for me today. Once again, you can subscribe to the channel and leave a like. I appreciate it very much and it helps the channel out a lot and it's free. I will see you in the next episode, which is going to be on Bryce Miller. That's going to be it for me and I will see you next time. Thank <music> you.